Hi guys, I just received this box here and it has a, a fan that I ordered. It has a gasket and it has the fan inside. And I'm gonna try this fan. This is a um, little project that I'm gonna start doing. I'm not gonna get it done tonight, but I just wanna see how this fan works and the power consumption. I was asking that question when I was buying this product to the people from Amazon, and I guess nobody had the answer. Um, I was asking, what was the what is the, uh, what was the power consumption of the watch of this fan? Okay, so let's take a look. My apologies, I'm doing everything with a single hand. Not the best way of doing it, but that's the way I'm doing it. Okay, let's. See. I already got this out. Now I need to take the plastic here to take it off. That way I can get it to work. So let's see. Oh, look at this. This is model S31105. It says here 120 volts, 60 hertz, and it says here. 25 watts maximum made in China, of course. Okay, so that's what it shows there 25 watts max. And let's find out. Okay, um, let's find out. It does what their label shows there. Anyway, let's see what we have here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get it connected here and we're gonna try one of the S31 smart plug that I just programmed. I just connected those to my application a few minutes ago. So let's see what we have here. We have a switch here and from 0 to 1. So let's see. It's on. Oh, excuse me. We need to turn on this smart plug here. Okay. So there's power coming in. It's on. Okay. As you guys can see there, the fan is working. Small little fan. Let's see. Kind of noisy, but blowing some air. I gotta be doing a little project with this fan. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet until I do it, until I get it done. And okay, looks good, it's working. So now let's see what the power consumption is. And I go to my Sonoff application here and switch that is on is. Switch number one. So let's go there. And let's see if it shows power consumption. Um, has a little delay. It's not sure. Oh, voltage 118.89, but it's not showing the power consumption. So that's not good. That means the son of a um, smart switch is not giving you giving you the wattage or the amps. So let's try it again not showing it so let me close the application and open it again let's see what happens might have a little delay I kind of started noticing that recently from Sonoff they're kind of having a little delay on their smart devices and that's not good so let's see what's going on here mm -hmm. okay shows 24 Point 0.25, point 0.42 amps. You guys can see it shows here it's 24.25, point 0.42 point amps. And let's go back to the label of the device. Shows there uh, 25 watts maximum. So it's actually about right. According to the zone of device, the S31, the smart plug, is 24.11 now and it shows 0.42 and if I lower the speed let's see what it does I'm lowering the speed right now yep look at that it dropped to 18 17 17 I went down to almost um, half of the speed let me go all the way down I'm not gonna turn it off I'm gonna keep it on uh, oh actually it's off Okay, it's on again, but it's 
barely turning. It's real slow. Okay. So it's 14.74.31 amps. I'm going to increase the speed a little. And let's see what it does. Still 14.74. And let's see a little more. Now it's four, still 14.74. The speed is a lot faster. But it's not actually consuming more power. It's actually good. 14.74. Oh, now I went up. 16.36. And let's see. Went to 18.69. So we know the maximum we're going to be consuming is 25 watts. And actually it's a little bit less according to the Sonoff S31 power monitoring. 24.6. Good. Anyway, this, this will do for the little project that I want to do. That's what I wanted. I wanted a little fan motor like that that I can control the speed and set it up to where I need it. Let's see, it has this dimmer switch here on the side that I'm using to control the speed. You can hear the noise. See that? That's maximum speed. That's about halfway. And it does show it in the power consumption. It works real good. Let's hope, uh, let's hope this product can last for a long time. Because what I'm going to be doing is going to be saving me a decent amount of money. I think I paid about 30 bucks for this fan. 29 something plus tax. But it's about $30. And um, I'm going to be using some metal pipes. going to be doing some welding and stuff like that. And I'm going to be fabricating what I need. After I'm done, it's probably going to cost me less than 50 bucks. But if I buy the product outright, that product's gonna cost me probably about seven hundred dollars. So I'd rather spend the, uh, I'd rather spend the uh, less than fifty bucks, making it by myself, and I'll feel better about the quality of the product. I mean, the fan is a fan, you know. Not much more I can say about that. Made in China. But I'm just testing the fan right now and showing you how it works with the power monitoring. Okay. Well, thank you guys. And remember, we need more subscribers to keep uploading these kind of videos. Thank you, guys. And let's see. Let me close the camera here. And we're done. Until next time.